so I want to show you something. So I actually thought this computer was not working, but it turns out it is. So it's a Galaxia computer, a do-it-yourself kit, a Z80 from 80s in ex-Yugoslavia. And uh, it was actually put together by my dad and uh, this uh, PSU also. And uh, as you can see, it is actually working. It says ready. And I was 100% sure it wasn't because some 20 years ago we tried it on a CRT TV and uh, it was all slanted. So it is somehow working. And uh, we also, so this is the magazine. It's uh, January 1984. And uh, this actually is the original magazine that was used by my dad to build the computer, page 50 to 67. Let's see. Disk units, plotters. 37, 41, this let's play, <laughs> there it is, the galaxy computer and a little kid playing on a build kit, there were later, it was, uh, it was uh, published first as a do-it-yourself kit, then later they were offering already built kits, and this, this is one of the already built ones, and uh, I guess, or no, I mean, it wouldn't be so, because this is the instruction, so they wouldn't have had the, the built one already, so this is a custom, but they did have a, um, later they had a built kit they were offering for sale, and around 8,000 of those were sold, but an unknown number of do-it-yourself kits were made before, such as this one behind and uh, I'm just uh, looking at this wonderful red TV this is a Iskra Minirama TV I'm actually hunting for that one for a long time but maybe I don't know I'm not sure I want a CRT at home but uh, so this is this is the instruction so the video cut so these are the instructions for building the Galaxia what happens in the first few microseconds the comic galaxia and then there is a <laughs> schematics and what you need to do and how you need to do it and this was basically what my dad used to build this computer and uh, this is actually available online in the pdf i can link it and uh, the PSU, so how to add, I, I read this, how to add, a, instead of a RF modulator, which I'm now using with a little Casio TV, you could have a composite. And uh, I actually did buy a Tandy cable, which is apparently wired in the correct way. So... I could get a better output out of this computer, but at first I'm just amazed that it's working. So, yeah, it's it's a it's a five DIN five pin, and like the old Commodores, and this is for the tape, also five pin, five pin to another five pin or the jack. Yeah, so let me not destroy anything. And if things are not working, don't panic. Everything is going to be all right. All right. And how to find the components? And this is where my dad ordered the components. And uh, so I did forget to say, so this was like made to be cheap. And it was forbidden to import more than uh, 500 Deutsche Mark worth of luxury items which were 
computers were then luxury items into what was then Yugoslavia, and then they decided to um, offer do-it-yourself cheap kit that can be done by the masses, and it was actually kind of really kick-starting the, the home computer market then, and uh, after some time they actually allowed it, and I remember we had a ZX Spectrum Plus, which we sold, unfortunately, and then uh, Commodore 64, and then I had an Amiga 600, and then, yeah, PCs, a lot of them, so, <laughs> never a Mac, never a Mac, because they were uh, expensive, not very available here, not an option, so this is, yeah, this is, this is, a. am happy that this cutout <laughs> missed this, image galaxy in the school and this is uh voya antonich which was the guy who actually designed the computer and he's still like i saw that he's uh active in the scene so yes and not only do i have the original first number but i have original yeah other yeah, they're also reversed, which is not really so 48k memory for the Galaxy Commodore 64 and so on and so on. I mean, these are all very, I mean, I know there was a sound for the Galaxy later and the better graphics and uh, what was that? BBC. Yeah, I'm sure. So I'm sure there are PDFs of these. Uh, which one is that? PDFs of all of these uh, magazines, but I'm happy I own them, especially the instructions on how to build a galaxy and the wonderful wooden PSU and the computer that actually does work. There is your... Opa. Ready code and uh, the keyboard is responding that's really cool I will now try to connect it to the modern TV via the Tandy Cable. This was a Tandy TRS-80 model composite video, 5 pinned into video out, 1.8 meters. And uh, yeah, I of course checked the wiring it fits, so this is a, was a standard thing then, I guess, the DIN 5. And uh, early Commodores sometimes have uh, DIN 5, but mostly DIN 8. Yeah, very cool. So, I do have tapes with the games. So, we were kind of very hamstery family. We, we kept everything. So, <laughs> I have to figure out... So, I do have some tape recorders none with the with the with the the numbers so i can't really i could just do what's first on the tape but uh, i have to figure out can i load the program i definitely can write it but i don't want to so that's so cool yeah so this is a 1984 computer 40 years ago happily working with the to-do instructions that were followed to build it and I'm very happy with it so that's it for now let's see what else I can do with it so as you can see it's a success I actually managed to connect it using a Tandy TRS-80 cable Galaxia is now connected to my modern relatively modern TV and uh, I how I did it is this is the thing I usually use well sometimes use with the Commodore so I do have an OSSC OSSC yeah say 
and uh, sometimes I use it, but it's more like you don't have this uh, CVBS there. And this PB white, so you don't have the the kind of composite that uh, um, goes into the OSSC. So you have to use something. There's like a, I forgot the name. So so there are some transcoders that uh, you need to use before you use the OSSC, which means like you connect to a device similar to this one, and then to OSSC, and then you get an HDMI. And uh, I do have that combination, but this I find to have a little bit better, cleaner output. So this is, I usually, like, if I want a really good picture from Commodore, uh, get a S-Video output, put it here, and get an HDMI here. And this works. And uh, what's uh, connected to the Galaxia now is the... So next to the modulator, the 5-pin is the composite out which was kind of a exclusivity then, but now it's, uh, well, it's already a bit obsolete, but it's, 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 so it's a Tandy TRS cable that has the same wiring. And I got that one. Other option was to, to solder one myself, but I figured if, if it's the same, why bother? <laughs> so it's, uh, it's, it's actually fits perfectly. And I put it into this, uh, yellow video signal that we don't have a sound and uh, get a this is a power five volt power for this little thing and hdmi out which goes to my screen and this works and i could also do some there are some options to kind of like do a bit of upscaling and smoothing and uh, yeah i don't know i have to check but uh so this is how the Galaxia looks. Woohoo! So we do have a, a Galaxia on a super huge screen. And uh, it did have this like couple of different logos. I have to check which is uh, which one is this one. I think that's the first one. They had this this sign next to already. So uh yeah. I don't want to say anything because I have to check the facts first. So, yeah. So I did find tapes for the Galaxia and my dad uh, usually had some like math programs and statistics. But uh, there's also a game tape, which is this one. And there's like a castle, which is Zamak Jumping Jack, Jew Space Invaders, Moon Landing, Alien Attack. Hammurabi, Snake, Mad Max, thanks. So I think, I think, well, I like Magic Miner, but uh, on <laughs> Spectrum. Um, later, right? That's the computer. But I'm very happy. So this is actually a cool game, and it's at zero. And since I don't have a tape with numbers, this could be a very cool thing. And this thing is actually not rewind, so it's an old tape that nobody <laughs> looked but it's it's I will try to manually move it a bit to see is it safe yeah English checkers blackjack Philly I don't know what that means but I mean so the first one and the second one are the castle and the jumping jack so so that's actually cool I wish I could load these two that would be perfectly fine for me. I also remember I like this one, but how would I know where it is? Maybe loading these two and then so these are these are the for the ones that don't get it. So this is where you rewind your tape and that's where the program starts. And the interesting thing is that they used to have a radio programs where they would play the computer program and then you would record it on a tape and then you would have people complaining what's that hellish noise although i mean they were doing it in the middle of the night so that they don't bother people but uh, still the fact that the computer programs were streamed on the radio is very cool i think so let me check what i can do it would be great if i would manage to load something so unfortunately I was unable to uh, load the tapes. The reason is that uh, both tape players that I have are 
now chewing tapes so and this one got a bit chewed in the beginning so i'm hoping that if something got damaged that it's the first game only i think the code can be found online so i mean it's it's to do recreatable just as it's really uh, i hope that uh, i have a tape player but obviously i don't at least uh, i i kind of disassembled one and tried to clean it a bit but uh yeah it does, yeah it just doesn't work just now uh, whatever tape i put in it kind of starts being chewed and uh, it won't rewind it won't fast forward play uh, makes the tape yeah exit the container he starts chewing it so it's uh, and uh, it's the case i have a one old like a little radio and uh, one old kind of a uh cheap stereo with two tape decks and those two are the same so so i don't have any tape player now and uh, uh i can't i can't play the game i could type it in and start it but i'm not sure it's worth the trouble now for the video mm, maybe let's see Okay, so this is it for the Galaxia right now. I was unable to play the tape programs on the tape I had because I don't have a working tape player. So that has to wait until the next year. But the good news is that the Galaxia work, the keyboard works, the PSU works. I have an option to connect it with the RF modulator. I have an option to connect it uh, via the composite and then with various gadgets get the hdmi signal and uh, the tape these are the tape cable this is the tape cable and uh, yeah i think everything works and uh, if i had a working tape recorder i would be able to try some games but i don't so um yeah that's it i have to figure out probably a little one like a dictaphone or something like this with the, i saw some that do have this did five but it has to work and uh, not two tapes <laughs> i think that's doable i just don't have an option right now and also no time but i'm super happy that the computer is actually working after 40 years. And trying to get the yeah the original instructions are also there. So that's it for now. Bye bye.